the coolest part of my room, Harry Potter fans. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel and I'm really glad that you clicked on this video. So I'm going to be giving you my room tour. And you guys may have seen parts of my room throughout videos. I filmed in different areas of my room, but you've never seen the overall room. And let me just say, it took me eight years to get through my wanted. And I have finally achieved my perfect room. It is pink, but not like nauseatingly pink. It, it is girly. I'm a sentimental person, so I have things put up all around that remind me of special memories. It has books. I love reading. You can check out my 15 must read books in the little eye over there. And it's overall just a culmination of my personality. If you're interested in seeing my room tour, then keep on watching. Let's go. Important message for you guys hanging on my door. Let's go in. So this is what my bed looks like. I have a nice husband pillow and some throw pillows. The rose matches the rose on the sheets. I have a throw blanket, white, and it kind of just pulls the whole bed together. Looks very aesthetically pleasing if I do say so myself. And then I have some nice light bulb lights, except my sister broke this one when she accidentally kicked my wall. But it's fine. They were on clearance at TJ Maxx for $8. I have this gorgeous painting that matches this whole vibe and that I got at Home Goods. I have this really cool setup over here. It's where I keep some special mementos. So I have Broadway tickets down there. I have a picture of me and my mom, tickets, pictures, things like that. And I actually got it on Amazon. Over here I have my nightstand and my garbage can. This is such a pretty garbage can and I got it at Walmart. I love the rusticness of the nightstand. Air freshener, just some Tums. My hydro flask with stickers on it. First of all, it's pink, so I get pink lighting in my room. And it has a charger over so I have an outlet right next to my bed for my phone. And it's there I keep my sneakers because I'm running now. Corona is making me exercise every day. Day three of Chloe Ting's two-week workout program. It's super intense, but super good, and my abs are killing me. So past my bed, I have my hammock. And I absolutely love this. I, it's attached to my ceiling, and it's basically just my chill area. A fluffy pillow, and I have a super soft blanket. It's so comfortable. This is actually where I filmed my first few videos, so you can go check that if you're interested. I keep some weights, books, and my baby blankets because I'm a very sentimental person. Behind it, I have my school backpack, which has not been touched since mid-March. And I have this stuffed animal that my father bought me for winning Model Congress. Over here I have my library books that I can't return because the library is closed. And I have my hat box where I keep personal mementos of mine. So my first goalie glove I ever used, a wedding invitation, things like that. And my AP Calc notes from before school shut down. And then we have my desk. Hi everyone! Um, as you can see, I have a thing for throw blankets, but I like to have different textures, so I have a super soft one over there, this, like, knit type over here, and then I have an in-between one. So, obviously, I have to study for the ACT, and I suck at math, so I have math section, ACT studying stuff, always on my desk. It's so where I keep my everyday jewelry, my pens and pencils, glasses, mirror, my sister's 2011 MacBook, because I broke mine. Um, here is makeup brushes, as you've seen in my two videos ago, my makeup collection. Go check that out if you're interested. I have a Google. And then my favorite thing is I have this cute little mini garbage can I made. I got this container at TJ Maxx, obviously, and I just put a garbage can in it. I have this DIY vanity that I made. I'll turn it on for you guys. And I always do my makeup here. In the drawers, I basically keep school stuff, makeup, hair, nails, skincare, things like that. Over there, I just have awards, and this is where I keep my tests, my notes, everything from the year basically for every subject. We have history, calculus, computer science, a push, and some random little notebooks. I have a calligraphy book, a baking book, coloring book. This is my, my me binder where I keep basically things, projects I want to try, recipes, things like that. Up there I have my National Honor Society Award, an invitation of mine engraved in glass. I have just some random notebooks, books like that, and here some more books because your girl loves to read and I actually just got this one, this one, and this one. 
to let you know how they are. I'm going to be reading them pretty soon. Created this. It's a test tube with Christmas ornaments. I think it's so cool, just the aesthetic of it. And then over here, I have this little cup that my sister's best friend's sister made for me as a thank you for helping her like adjust to camp. Another unit circle. So let's count. One, two, three, four. Someone told my calculus teacher I have four unit circles hanging in my room and maybe she'll give me extra credit. I actually redid that whole desk area earlier this year. I decided I was like done with what I had had. I had originally had a desk matching my bed and then I was just not into it anymore. And so then I came up with a whole plan. I pitched it to my parents. I explained to them why I wanted it, what I would do, how I would do it. They listened, we bought it, and I took apart and built the desk in one night. And then over here, I have just more books. This is my favorite section in my room. I actually put this together myself. I'm super proud of it. I bought the hanging shelf situation at TJ Maxx, obviously. And here I keep my favorite candles, Black Merlot and Midnight Blue Citrus, both from Bath and Body Works. I have a fake orchid, which is super pretty and really ties together the room. I have my Polaroid from when I was like 13, is super into this. A gorgeous nail polish I got that I felt fit my, the aesthetic of my room. It's from Ipsy. I have a geode that my brother and I broke in our basement. Our father got us a bunch, we just broke. I have a clear soda, because I think that looks cool. It's very flat right now, we'll not be drinking it. I have my Morphe X James Charles eyeshadow palette um, cover. And over here, I just have some prayer books. And then here, I have my Louboutin nail polish I got at TJ Maxx for $13. It's so, it retails for $50. So, that's a steal. And here, I have some scented soap petals. And behind that, I have some bath salts. And then here's my jewelry box. I love this i got it for a holiday present a few years ago i have my dresser it is not enough space but we make it work and over here we have my slightly abandoned guitar i used to play guitar very seriously and then i kind of stopped so i want to do that again and finally i have my closet i have tons of clothes you know i have fancy tops fancy bottoms jackets sweatshirts pajamas i actually keep more sweatshirts because I have so many but these are like darker ones these are more color ones because I'm very organized and such a cool trick I keep my sheets inside of boxes and it looks so much cleaner and then I just have some like purses and a bougie belt back there I have I keep my printer and my box of paper of all different types of paper um shirts um like nicer skirts and just plain black skirts shoes and then the coolest part of my room harry potter fans i have a hidden closet within my closet so this is my little closet within a closet um in here basically these this is everything that was in my locker but i brought it out because i'm not sure if we're going back to school it's basically extra storage my suitcase is here just costumes things like that but it's very cool my ring light is over there but it's very cool i always feel like harry potter with this i just think it's a really cool feature in my room that my parents built and how many of you can say you have a harry potter closet in your closet not that many over here on my wall close to my entrance this is covering actually a hole one of my siblings made when they slammed my door open so that's a nice little fun fact also if you're wondering not to flex but my room normally is this clean maybe a little messier but I'm a pretty neat person. I'm just more comfortable in a clean room. I work better, I think better, I sleep better. Um, so I pretty much stay clean. If you guys want any tips and tricks on how I keep my room so clean, let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure I'll have many and I'll be glad to share it with you guys. my video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to see more of my video be sure to check out my instagram it's linked down below let me know what part of my room you enjoy the most i honestly love my entire room i think it's very me it's very pink <laughs> um it's very girly it's exactly what i picture let me know what type of videos you want to see in the future i'm always open to hearing new ideas new suggestions make sure to check out my other videos have a nice little binge fest wrapped in bed with some cookies so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video i know you're gonna enjoy my next video i'll see you next time bye